All right, so today's little project, since I only have a few minutes, is to reinstall the shifter and the lockout plate. So I've got the two bolts, the lockout plate and the shifter. I'm just gonna slap that back in and uh, get this done. All right, so on this car, the bolts are 13 mil. So first thing I'm gonna do is get this up out of here and uh, we'll put the lockout plate in. So, when in doubt, this little ramp side faces forward. Doesn't matter if you got a left-hand drive car or a right-hand drive car, they match. Um, there is an adjustment. As you notice, these are slotted, so you might have to mess around with it to make it 100%, but uh, the next trick is just dropping this bad boy back into the hole don't forget to put the spring in and uh we will be golden and don't forget to put your spring back on in the right orientation if you flip it over it's not going to sit in a little cup like it's supposed to and uh you'll have all sorts of issues getting that back in all right so that took like two seconds um they're just finger tight right now um, so, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and tighten them down, uh, and that'll be it. I still need to run to the parts store and get a fuel filter, that's why I haven't really gotten any work done. I've been trying to get some other things caught up around the house here. So, tomorrow I'll get a fuel filter, some gas, and hopefully get this thing started tomorrow. Alright, and that is all tightened up. Um, I find the easiest way to put this boot back, if it's a good boot, if it's a bad older boot, don't try this, you'll just tear it. But if you kind of roll it inside out and then push it down, then you can push it back over the little lip that holds it. But now we have gears again, so quick, easy fix, but it was something that we needed to get done.